Rolling into the month of May is already showing that the active weather pattern is going to persist, which we need the moisture in our soil. So we're hopeful to get some better amounts out of some of these waves of energy. More at this moment, these waves have been just nuisance activity, and that's how it's going to stay here, at least for the near future. Now, our Thursday here expected to be a quiet day. We're even going to see mostly sunny skies, but we are keeping temperatures a little cooler than normal, reminding us that we are still within spring, and that spring-like weather persists on Friday, where we are talking even some wintry precipitation. Now, it is a little to no accumulation we're expected when it comes down to wintry precipitation. One, just due to our ground temperatures this time of the year, so warm that none of it's really going to stick around. But seeing a snowflake can't be ruled out due to our temperatures that we'll still see. And it's not unusual to see a snowflake or two in May. Definitely not, though, usual to see any big accumulation, and that's what we're seeing there. And then we will note, though, that we have some beautiful conditions for the weekend, which is some good news because next week we could be right back to this active weather pattern with cooler temperatures. Now our Thursday shows off that we have plenty of sunshine to work with, especially east of the divide, where conditions will start to change as end of day across our western elevations. That wave of energy moves through, and it is going to be more of a central to southern impact that we will see with this storm system, and even a little of expansion for east of the divide up through I-90 possible when it comes down to moisture. Now those vibrant blues there, and why we're seeing that is that the arrival of the system does come at 7 a.m. on Friday, meaning that we have morning temperatures and our morning temperatures are going to be at or below freezing, meaning that we could see some snowflakes. Again, accumulation expected to be little to nothing. We even have goose eggs on the board for east of the divide, but you can see just that light white shading. And now some of those are the rattlesnake mountains, Casper Mountain there that might get that light dusting. Most of any big numbers are going to hold, though, in well into our higher elevation points. It's just going to be maybe seeing those snowflakes come down that Grapple like formation, even where it's like a little tiny piece of hail. That is that uh, rain and snow freezing within the environment because temperatures are cool enough, but we are in that spring season, so that uh, potential uh, precipitation will be in place. Now, there is precipitation on the board. Again, most of this here off towards the west is what's coming late into the day, so daytime is more expecting to see some of that sunshine. Temperatures into the 50s. Now, that's cooler than normal, but we, it is only about 10 degrees, and we'll see a big rebound for the weekend. So grab the spring jacket. We'll see similar temperatures on Friday, maybe a touch cooler, especially with the day starting off near that freezing mark, allowing for that wintry precipitation, giving off that cooler spring like feel as we generally see upper 40s to lower 50s. But again, the rebound that is taken into the weekend is huge. We're even upper 70s potentially by Sunday before next week. We're right back to those below normal temperatures, as well as noting that there is more waves of energy that could bring us those rain chances.